Musician, artist, sculptor, the many talents of Kotob Daoud. But his pictures speak of the pain of a life he had to flee in Syria, where simply being a Kurd made him a target. He's even been the subject of a book back home, the Kurdish teenager imprisoned and tortured from the age of 16. It's been three and a half years since Kotob moved to Somerset as a refugee with his wife and two daughters. He received support on arrival, but settling was made more difficult by the outbreak of Covid and national lockdowns. I came here two years, no English, no learning English, no talk with people, very problem. His torrid time, his torture in Syria, has left him with serious health conditions, including epilepsy, which make it hard for him to hold down a full-time job. But now he's earning money from his art, selling pictures and Christmas cards he's designed. And one of his pieces of music has now been commissioned for a TV documentary about refugees. Those who've supported him in Somerset say his story is an inspiration. It's been hard for him because of his health condition, uh, you know, he really suffered during the first two years. Uh, but now, actually, they are settled very well. They, he, the stuff they achieved, you know, in the last two years, what he did, the people that he met, you know, um, projects that he worked on, uh, is, is amazing. Every people, uh, nice, good, uh, helped me. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy uh, in the summer seat. Wow, Kotob has found support through Welcome Hubs, commissioned by Somerset Council and run by local charities at six locations across the county to support all displaced people. So that's the Paris logo. They've helped him connect with the local community and encouraged his art, even hosting an exhibition alongside refugee charity Caris. Now Somerset has a proud history of welcoming and supporting people in need, whatever the circumstances. Kotob is benefiting from that. And now the community is benefiting and learning from his artwork. <laughs>